Now this one here, this is the old Honeywell fan and limit. This actually turned the fan on and it was also a limit switch. Now I've done a couple of videos on how to set this thing and how it reacts and stuff. So I'm not going to get that, get into that here. I will reference those other videos. This actually uses a spiral bimetal. That spiral bimetal is going to rotate as it gets hot. Now I'm going to demonstrate how this works using a propane torch. Now you can see it rotate very quickly. It rotated. Also going to show you from the dial side how it works. Okay, now I'm going to heat this up again. You can watch the dial move. That's really all it does. When it gets up high enough, it turns on the fan. If it gets too hot, it shuts off the burner. One thing that all limit switches do is they shut off the burner. They don't shut off anything else. If the fan is running, they want the fan to continue running. Uh, they oftentimes have the inducer running too. So the limit switch is just going to shut off the fuel source and not any circulating fans. Okay, that's it on this little switch. This is kind of an antique. Well, I will show you one more thing. Uh, this has a manual and auto switch. If you push it in, it's manual. That means the fan runs all the time. If you pull it out, it allows it to operate with the heat of the furnace. One of the big problems with this thing is people put the cover, there's a, usually a cover goes over this, and they'll knock that switch in and they won't notice it and the fan will run all the time. So uh, then they think there's something wrong. The element here is placed into the air stream uh, near the heat exchanger. And it's sensing the heat coming off the heat exchanger to turn the fan on. Very simple fan switch.